some Democrats in the state Senate turning on Governor Cuomo tonight. It's over the administration's decision to delete state emails after just 90 days. It's a relatively short shelf life considering the federal government holds on to emails for seven years. The CIA for three years. Our Capitol correspondent Kimberly Howard spoke with Democratic Senator Liz Krueger today. And Kimberly, I guess she's ready to push legislation to try to stop the governor from deleting these emails so quickly. That's right, Greg. In fact, just in the last hour, I got a response to some of my questions to the Cuomo administration in light of all this. An ITS spokesperson tells me that this policy is nothing new. It's just being applied to a new email system, which more government employees are being converted to. But it's still not clear why this needs to be done in the first place. And as you mentioned, Senator Kruger says this is all leading to questions about transparency. How can we have a state government where information going back and forth by email is on an auto-delete system? Senator Liz Kruger is concerned by a Cuomo administration policy that automatically deletes government emails after 90 days. Red flags started rising at a budget hearing last week when the state's chief information officer was questioned about the whole thing. She didn't say it was a space issue. She couldn't answer why it was the policy. She wouldn't defend the policy. She simply said it was a memo written before she got here and she's implementing. According to the state's Office of Information Technology Services, the policy has been in place for the executive chamber since 2007, but it was expanded to other government employees recently. Kruger is not sure why it exists at all. Every single computer system in the state has 30 years capacity for emails at this point. And clearly because of technology, we could expand, this, expand it to endless capacity for almost no cost. Kruger is now working on legislation to clarify and update certain laws. Since government emails are constantly sought in court cases, freedom of information requests from reporters and people looking for answers from government officials. An acceptable excuse is not Oops, the machine deleted the material. In response to all this, a spokesperson for Cuomo said in a tweet they will review Kruger's legislation and, quote, anticipate it will include provisions opening up the legislature to the freedom of information law process. And Senator Kruger hopes to have the bill drafted in the next week, and she says she already has support coming from both chambers and from both parties. Live in the Albany Newsroom, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.